What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're discussing about a check rain jailbreak based on the bootroom exploit called Checkmate released by Axiomax. And also we have some important, I would say crucial information to talk, but also we're going to talk about custom made firmware and a tool that is receiving important updates for custom made firmware. So let's get into it. Now I'm going to show you this website in here. It says checkrain.com. This is the official logo for the check rain and it says in here check rain jailbreak for the A5 to A13 devices for iOS 12.4.2 to 13.1.2 and there is an install button here, no PC, basically a mobile config profile and a download check rain which is basically for an application. Now it also has the normal team in here, Coolstar, Jamie Bishop, Timstar and so on, only that this is a fake website. This is not the official check rain website but whoever made this is trying to pull a very interesting scam because as you can see here the website is done pretty well actually. Somebody really has web design skills and also they acquired an SSL certificate which would basically make the browser say that the connection is secure. So they really put some effort into this but this is a fake Checkrain website. The official Checkrain Twitter is this one in here at Checkrain spelled with a one instead of I and of course the official website which is currently containing only this logo in here is Checkrain spelled with a one. As you can see the fake one is spelled with a normal I in here but you know, ironically, the fake one is secure, it says connection is secure, and the original one, the normal one, it says not secure because they do not have an SSL certificate. Probably they will acquire one in the future. They don't even have a title for the moment. They are basically using the Checkrain name because that is actually a very popular name right now. The jailbreak will be based on the Checkmate exploit, which is a bootroom exploit that cannot be patched. So definitely powerful. And they're not entirely wrong in here. It is for the A5 device all the way up to the A11 devices, the A12 and A13 are not supported, that's the important thing about this exploit, the A12 and A13 are not supported. And their iOS range is completely wrong, it's not only 12.4.2 to 13.1.2, it's any version supported by any of these devices in here. Now as I said, do not press the install button in here, it tries to download a mobile config profile, just like those that you use for App Valley or Ignition, which is basically installing a web clip. It's not malign for the moment, but I would not trust anything from this website. The only official website for Checkrain is this one in here, which currently only contains their logo because the tool has not been released yet. It will probably be released in a week or two. Now also I said I were going to talk about something important and this is the EMG4 tool. Timstar said quote, almost finished rewriting EMG4 tool, pretty much only proper build system is left to do. Way better code base, bug fixes and more features, ATA soon. Now why is this important? Well using this program you can create custom made firmwares. Now as you probably know on IPSWs most firmware components are in the EMG4 container or the EM4P. Now in order to be able to handle these and in order to be able to patch them and extract them and so on, you need a tool that is able to extract the actual data from the EMG4 container. And this is what this tool in here does. And it used to work but it was actually very flaky with not proper error messages and so on. So Timstar decided to update the tool, which is actually very, very important if we're planning to create custom-made firmwares in the future. And of course, with Axiomex's exploit, which is Checkmate, we need to create custom-made firmwares or of course we need to patch firmware components if you want to do iCloud bypass or downgrades or even a jailbreak. So we do need a proper EMG4 tool. So this is actually pretty good news for those of you who are planning to do custom-made firmware on iOS 13, 12, 11 or any other version supported by Checkmate. And by the way, Checkmate supports iPhone 4S all the way up to the iPhone 10, And of course it includes all the iOS versions supported by these devices. Now a last thing I would like to discuss in here is whether you need to purchase this cable in here from Lambda Concept if you want to use the Checkmate exploit. Because many people saw this advertised with the Checkmate and this cable is actually made for Checkmate. So many people ask me if you need this cable if you want to use the exploit because this cable is not cheap. It costs 749 euros so this is actually a very expensive cable. However, good news, you don't need to purchase this cable if you just want to use the exploit. This cable is actually a very special cable, that's why it's very expensive, which enables JTAG on the device. But this is only useful if you are a security researcher looking into getting a lot of information from the device at low level. Now, if you just want to use a jailbreak or a downgrade 
or if you want to run a custom made firmware on your device using a checkmate exploit, you don't need this cable at all. It's actually a very useful cable, but only for the developers and only for security researchers who need low level access. So yeah, it's not necessary if you want to use the exploit. Now, one last thing I would like to mention, if you want more information about jailbreaks or checkmate or iCloud bypass, or even downgrades, or if you need jailbreak help, check out our jailbreak forum at jailbreak.fc365.info, where I provide help and I post articles about everything including iCloud bypass and of course how to use this exploit. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.